just couldn't believe that somebody would take my child's life. And you know, I you know, took it pretty hard. Any mother would. It's been more than 12 years since Troy Todd was murdered. The loss of him, I could never get a get over it. I don't think I ever will. Sitting on the couch with her youngest son, Dewanda Todd remembers the night Troy, her middle child, died. I was really upset because I couldn't touch him. I couldn't hold him. I had to look, look at him through a glass. On Thursday, a grand jury indicted Quinton Hall for the 2004 murder of Troy Todd. Yes, it was a phone call Todd's uh, mother has been waiting for. For a long time, really, I thought the street had took justice, you know, in their own hands. Because I hadn't been hearing anything about him or whatever. I always did until that day I seen him on the news. He definitely been hiding. Yes. He definitely been hiding. Hall has been behind bars at Metro Correction since February. He's charged with killing Fernandez Bowman last December. So Troy, he gets to rest in peace. And I have closure. Yes. Todd says her son and the man charged with his murder were friends. She wants to know what happened that December night more than 12 years ago. I'm going to fight it all the way to the end. But I would like to say one thing. Quentin, why did you take my son's life? Just don't understand it. Coleman, you're going to keep the indictment. Quentin Hall is being held here at Metro Corrections. He's set to be back in court next month for Troy Todd's murder case. Today in court, he entered a not guilty plea. Reporting live downtown, Emily Maha, WLKY News.